Hello from Western New York and uh, had a decent day. It's kind of been overcast a little bit. But, and there's that bee buzzing around again. <laughs> But overall, I had a, a fairly productive day, and I am probably going to need to get my weed eater out and take down these. They look about spent. Same with over here. Not quite sure what these are. <laughs> I mean, I know these are daffodils, but I don't know what these bulbs are for. If they are the the new bulbs or what? I know they divide underground. <laughs> or that's just how they you know, make new ones, you know, with the seeds. <laughs> but, uh, let's take a look around. These irises are doing quite nice. Been a couple of years since we had some decent ones. Usually, Paris ends up tearing them up. <laughs> Again, might mow these over. They're about spent. Looks like my mother already started on that. <laughs> now the roses over here are doing pretty good. Um, got a couple of nice flower ball, you know, little these things opening, starting. And over here's one. <laughs> Bleeding hearts here. Eh. Not really sure. On the plus side, uh, my blueberries are developing their berries, you know, in the next couple of weeks. Maybe it'll do some harvesting. Unless the birds get them again. Alright, but then again. <laughs> Got some bird netting. Might be able to smart them. Might be able to get enough berries for a, a pie. <laughs> get a bunch of small berries on these, on this one. <laughs> Seem to be a decent size. Get a good bunch on these. On a few on the others. <sighs> no berries in this one this year. Or this one. Or even this one that I've seen, noticed. Yeah, this rose over here is doing pretty good. That one's doing okay. Same with this one. Hmm. Bleeding heart seems to develop seed pods or something. I don't know. Um, as for the hash cap, also known as the honeyberry, um, um, there's at least a few berries developing. I'm not really sh don't know about this one. Couldn't really see any. It's gooseberry. Lots of berries. Same with this one, and this one. They're doing pretty good. It's a 
black current is also doing pretty good. The Josta berry, um, well, there's some berries in here and there. Don't know about the uh, this uh, red current. Might be some. This one seems to have at least a few developing. Don't know about this grape. <laughs> this developing any, don't see any flowers. Same with this one. This uh, gooseberry over here, doing fairly well. Need to get rid of that. Over here is doing pretty good. Oh, excuse me. I need to do something about this because it looks like it's trying to root. <laughs> and uh, plenty of berries on this developing. Same with this one. Plenty of berries. No berries developing on this one. I can see, but then again, like I, like I mentioned in my previous videos, it is small, so I don't want it to have any f berries this year. This one here's got a good number. A few on that one, too. good and then there's this wild one it's doing real well I need to find out which one's the strongest <laughs> Again, it's possible one of them might be a little too strong. Kind of wish this Niagara was doing better, but I don't know. Same with this one. This is the. Let me double check, but I think this is the interlaken. Yeah, this is doing real good. <laughs> In fact, this is doing a little too good. <laughs> Gonna need to cut out a cane, that cane right there. <laughs> Next year. But, if I can navigate through this rose, these brown eyed Susans, and of course that rose, and Everything else. We get to this grape, and it's looking okay. This is Suffolk Red, I believe. Um, I get it. Uh, you know, Blanca, I believe. It's supposed to be a green one. Um, nothing. And here's the flame. But I think my mother when she was weeding, she, like I said, she mistook that for weeding, took that out a little too much. It's supposed to be a purple one. This is the, I believe, the Himrod. It's supposed to be a green. Looks like it's doing okay. 
and this is the Pinot Gris. It's supposed to be a purple. Seems to be doing okay. Might have to do a little bit of cutting on them. As for my raspberries, um, got flowers developing on the fall golds here. Kind of wish I knew what the black one over in here looks like. It probably gets, and again, it probably suffers from a lack of sun and getting shaded out by its red and yellow cousins. It seems to happen. Um, and for some reason my blackberries never do any good but then again it could just be that the cultivars aren't hardy for around here as in hardy enough to produce a, a floricane, I mean a primocane but they won't last through the winter and thus become a primocane and you know, there's a Hornet doing his business. Or her, as the case may be, to said business. Uh, the uh, rhubarb I got here, I don't know what's going on with it. Looks like probably something eating it. Tends to happen, you know. <laughs> Well, I did some weeding yesterday. I mean, all, yeah, yeah, part, some of it yesterday, some of it this morning, and basically I located all my strawberry plants, most of them, and whew, look at all the flowers and. I mean, let me let me get let me get closer. It's a lot of there's a lot of good flowers developing and plenty of good strawberries forming. Although I have noticed that there are some significant empty patches that I could probably take advantage of by buying some more and that's either a bumblebee or a big hornet <laughs> now most of these uh, strawberries look okay seem to be more or less spreading out okay I mean there's pro there's a bunch of other things I mean I found some black mushrooms in here. Kind of stepped on them already. Because I don't know if there are any... I mean, they're good at, uh, you know, breaking down the, uh, the, the organic matter, but I don't know if you'd want to eat them. <laughs> Probably wouldn't. I also, uh, like I said, I did some weeding. You know, there was a lot of Chevelle in here that I took care of. I mean, there's still some Chevelle. This stuff right here. And over there's uh, the wild raspberries. I'm kind of debating on, debating on if I should mow them down or what. Because they were just a test subject. To see how well transplanting would work. Seems to have done fairly well. <laughs> I 
I um, located the majority of my black raspberries. There's, like I said, plenty of Chevelle still around. Um, and like I said, managed to locate most of my black raspberries here. And located my elderberry bushes down here. So there's a few uh, raspberries, pat, you know, raspberry patch or two. Oh, here's another elderberry over there, though there's plenty of still some weeds I need, might want to get rid of. And there's some ferns, I don't know if they're the, uh, some sort of, uh, if they're native stock or what. I mean, sometimes you gotta be careful with that. Um. I don't know why. But my blackberries don't seem to, sur like I said, they don't seem to survive the winter. I might uh, have to come out here with a pair of uh, pruners and clip the one, clip a, you know, clip these back to see if they made it. You know. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, uh, and I kind of hope this one made it. I and mean, there, there always seems to be a few cultivars that don't seem to make it and and this seems to be the the cho I mean the C O H O you know anything about that variety let me know and over here's the maker well looks like this one finally got some flowers who knows maybe I'll try the raspberries on it this year a polana Reliable, you got a bumblebee buzzing around over here. Maybe you'll enjoy the raspberry shortcake over here. Heritage and the Polona doing real good. The, uh, like I said, black raspberries do real good. And my black raspberries are. Um, a mixture of Jewel and Bristol, so reasonably good stock. Don't ask me which is which. Fall Gold seems to be coming along. Like I said, I wish the blackberries did better. I mean, they'll send up a cane for the year, but they never seem to flower for me. Now, you might wonder, what did I do with all the Chevelle? Well, <laughs> there's how to give you a clue. I put a lot of it on here. Yeah, it is. It will decay. Add organic material to that. And I got some more over there on my second hugel culture. And while I'm out here, might as well tell you what else I also did. I planted some bare root asparagus crowns. 
and they are in order uh, one two three of the Jersey Giant obviously a Jersey variety and over here one two three the purple passion <laughs> and then over here on this uh, and I guess that's three so far that's six <laughs> you know Jersey Giant pur purple passion you know three each of those and over here one two three four five of the Mary Washington um, and so I had those three varieties they're the only ones that my local Walmart has now I probably could get like the Mary probably could have gotten the, the live plant versions of the Mary Washington's for like five bucks a piece at my local nursery but yeah, I decided to try the bare root crowns so and well my experience with, with bare root stuff so is kind of mixed yeah because not too many of my bare root strawberries made it and only two of my um, bare root uh, bleeding hearts made it and although the uh, the uh, gooseberries did okay, but uh, anyways, first thing I did was I checked out a video on YouTube. Okay, I am at I use YouTube and uh, figured out you know how to do the process. And well, what I did was I had, I got my shovel and I dug down about six eight inches, roughly. You know, I made the holes first, and then I got the the crowns out of the packages. And well, there's always that one rent of the litter. You know, the one that's like, why do they do they why do they throw that in there? And said, and yes, they were dry. <laughs> I probably should have soaked them a little bit in water or something. <sighs> but on the plus side, um, as you can tell, um, probably tell a little bit by the the color of the ground here. And if I walked over here at these very nice tracks. <laughs> It has been raining. It rained last night. It's supposed to rain later to tonight, I think. So, no sense in watering them at the moment. And so, I spread out the roots. You know, kind of laid them down and on the ground as best, on the, well, on the floor of the hole as best as I could, and then carefully backfilled. So, and uh, they are supposed to send up some some stalks this year, but I'm not going to harvest them th at all. Um, after all, I want them to to grow. You know, I mean, next year, who knows? Maybe I'll harvest some. And, uh, well, these brown eyed Susans are doing pretty good. <laughs> there is that. Nothing else. These, the way these flowers are growing shows you just how good this ground is. <sighs> I did have to cut, I did cut down my daffodils and tulips and whatnot that were over in here. Man, because the Chevelle is starting to get ready to bolt and, well, 
I'm still gonna have to do a Chevelle, but I don't have all of it. Um, and of course, as usual, mode. <laughs> now that's always a given. Got to mow at least once a week. And I just leave the clippings, clip the clippings on the ground. Um, hmm. You know, let them recycle, be decay back into the ground. Well, this is doing nice. You know, you get these lovely purple flowers. I mean, I, I don't know if this is edible or what, but I ain't gonna mess with it. And of course, like I said, I put in some of the weeds right in here. And over in here, put in some more. Not quite sure. I mean, I'm not quite sure how far along I'm going to, I'm probably, well, not at the moment, because I'm out of, uh, <laughs> Chevelle. And what other Chevelle I do mow down, I'm going to probably just leave in place. So that way it helps the ground where it is at. But who knows, next year, you know, might get some more, finish this up a little bit. Or, who knows, <laughs> <clears throat> and as mentioned did some mowing over in here still I can see what a week or two diff what two weeks does you see here a lot of this is coming up that I mowed this two weeks ago first mowed it two weeks ago I mean this that this over here I've been mow I mowed it down about a month back, maybe a little further. I mean, granted, at the time it was the stuff was shorter than what it was, but and what it eventually became, because what it eventually became, the Chevelle gets to at least. Oh, as tall as this d is at the moment. You know, about three, four feet tall. You know, you try mowing all this down. And like this, it's not easy. Especially because you can't see where anything is. And all you have as a guide is whatever it is you just hit. Usually the fence. <laughs> One or a fence or another. And uh, let's see here. I mean, like I said, I mean, this stuff will break down. <laughs> I mean, I started mowing this last year. And, uh, well, this is the stuff that I mowed down last year. I mean, look, you got grass here. I mean, it's not the world's greatest grass, but it's grass. You know, I mean, you got some clover, a few other things. And then, And you got this stuff, you know, this is the stuff that fell, that was here during the autumn, fell over and all that sort of stuff during the winter. But, but now, you got some green coming up. That was a tree that just fell. I might have to do some checking. Um.
fishing is where is that tree at? That is the question. <laughs> but like I said, I mean, here's the difference. I mean, been mowing this for the better part of a month. You know, I started last year. This is mostly grass. Well, it's not perfect, but it'll do. Does the job. Um, let's see here. Most of the, uh, and I, I mean, like I said, this, a bunch of this was like two weeks ago. You know, it's getting green. And the rest of this, from last week, it hasn't really come back so well yet, but like I said, repeat it with repeated mowings. Keep the Chevelle down. The grass will both weed. Take you know, take it take its rightful place and spread and <sighs> who knows. And of course over here is Hugo Culture number three. Now we somebody in a fast bike around here. You got this. It's doing pretty good. You know I got you know it's drying down. Got some ivy growing up around in here. Who knows? Might be the morning glory stuff. You got some of that growing wild around here. And of course we got goldenrod. That was one of my banes last year trying to mow that down. Although, luckily, with my weed trimmer I was able to mulch I was able to mow all this down. And it's just love. Well, see you. Well, this is Western New York. Subscribe to me if you like this. Post comments, click the like button, and share this with your friends. Okay? Goodbye.